Well, hi, I'm Bob Brazell, and uh, uh, the more you know, the less you believe. That just came to me, and it's brilliant. Now, I know everyone out there in TV land, I uh, heard conspiracy theories, most people don't even pay attention, but if you do pay attention, it's like Robert Anton Wilson, the great writer. Uh, the further you go down rabbit holes, the more things just get weird and, you know, you get confirmations and things that synchronicity is coincidences. People start mentioning things to you. You start seeing license plates that have got messages on them. Um, trucks drive by and they got messages on them for you. It's like the Truman Show. It's bizarre. It's crazy. And it's all part of the reality game that I'm filming because this is what I do. I make these kind of reality game productions and so if you look up Bob Frizzell productions you will see it's F R I Z Z E L L Bob and that's who I am and I'm wearing my trademark Las Vegas hat and I can't really see but you know I usually wear a white hoodie and underneath it's pink and it says Mel's Diner Mel's Diner is um the Cosmic Cafe in Stargate where ascended beings go to meet and uh, everyone knows that Mel's Cafe is also on the old TV show Alice or the movie Alice doesn't live here anymore and what else could I tell you I don't know why I like pink it's Las Vegas and that's where they used to host the B666 computers that run everything on planet earth which is a kind of a tesseract it's not really a sphere it's not really a flat earth it is a tesseract, which is a multi-dimensional cube thing. And, uh, um, well, I can really get into it in great detail, but even the thing that you think is your body is part of your tesseract, and all you are is kind of a projection into a tesseract. And if you watch the movie Interstellar, or just go on YouTube and look up Interstellar Tesseract, T-E-S-S-E-R-A-C-T, -S -S you can see what a tesseract looks like, and it... I, I should watch Interstellar again because I still don't understand it. Um, somebody else was watching the movie, and um, it's very confusing. It's you know, it's it's like Inception. I tried to watch Inception. It's too. It's beyond me. I, I try and make movies very simple. That's why I just call casting. I get some new actors, and you know, I just start running the film. And I got secret cameras everywhere. Um, Star Trek. The original series, Shore Leave, is what I like you to uh, look up. You can see it on Netflix. And it is about how there are gizmos that can read your thoughts. And then the gizmos can go and, well, it's like Westworld, that TV show that I think it's on TV or Netflix. And the old Yul Brenner movie where basically they can send out robotic things to go and interact with you based on the fact that they read your mind and they put it into your reality. So it's kind of a bit of a Truman Show kind of thing. And this is what we do with Bob Frizzell Productions. And, and I, I haven't been into martinis again. I didn't have whistle dogs today, but for some reason I'm flibber gibbeting my words. And, you know, flibber gibbeting is a Rumpelstiltskinism. And it's not the same Rumpelstiltskin as Once Upon a Time, although that is a Rumpelstiltskin, but we have a different Rumpelstiltskin that works with us, and we think it's a fifth dimensional dark elf from the she, but we're not sure because he hasn't made an appearance in the physical, but he does talk to us, he gives us phone calls and things, and he lets us in on certain events. And as for events, watch out for November the 11th, 2018. Uh, 2018 in numerology breaks down to an 11, so it's 11, 11, 11. Everyone knows the Illuminati and the Masons love the number 11. 9 11 was an 11. And so watch for something big on November 11th um, coming up. And this has been a very long video. Maybe I'll make you another one later on. Bob Frizzell reporting.